What about dog bites? Well, in some states, old Fido gets to bite the neighbor one time, and then from that time on, the neighbor is, I mean, the owner is responsible for Fido biting somebody else. In Florida, it's a little bit different. You're responsible the first time that dog bites. What most people don't know is that their homeowner's insurance policy may well provide liability protection so that if their dog bites somebody and the person who got bitten brings a claim against the homeowner because of the dog, their homeowner's insurance may pay them. We have had some, well, actually, we've had some very, very bad cases through the years in terms of injuries. I remember, um, sadly, a young girl, I think she was three or four years old at the time. It's been many years ago, but she was playing with a dog that belonged to the grandparents, and the dog was jealous of the little girl and attacked her and bit her face and caused terrible injuries to her face. I, I follow this rule with dogs, okay, with my own family, with my own dogs of the years. A dog is an animal. You have to assume an animal is going to bite, and you cannot place a child especially in a position where the unpredictable behavior of a dog could cause a, a tragic injury to a child. Assume that every dog bites, and then you're at least safe to protect the child the best you can. Now, there are dogs that I don't know that they're capable of biting a child, a Labrador or Retriever or Basset Hound. I mean, there's some that are so lovable, and, and uh, just, it's almost impossible to imagine, but they're still animals. They can be frightened. They can be spooked. And they can do something totally unpredictable. And best course is don't let your dog be close to a small defenseless child without you being able to intercede quickly.